and good morning everybody uh, we'll be starting with our first lecture today of uh, medical imaging physics uh, which will be covering uh, the syllabus for fcps frcr and other examinations uh, which include the medical physics uh, as their main component so starting with the definitions uh, that's the essential for uh, knowing that what terms and what units will we be using in our further lectures so starting with the basic definitions we have SI units in SI units we have mass which is measured in kilograms then we have length which is measured in meter then we have time which is measured in seconds then we have electric current and the electric current is measured in ampere temperature is measured in kelvin and then uh, yeah, here is uh, there is an important thing that uh, the SI unit of the temperature is kelvin it's not the centigrade or fahrenheit which we commonly use and then we have uh, a light intensity or the luminous intensity which has candela as its basic uh, unit uh, of SI other units we will be driving from these uh, units which we have discussed and for the energy we use the joule joule is one kilogram meter square over second square so you can see like we are using the kilogram meters and seconds which we have just discussed in the previous slide then we have unit of power which is watt which is equal to one joule per second and then we have the unit of electrical charge or the coulomb which is one ampere per second and then we have a unit of electromagnetic force which is equal to one joule uh, per coulomb and this is volt uh, which is uh, the driving force uh, of the uh, current through any circuit going further uh, two more units are going to be introduced the absorbed dose which is uh, which we will be using in radiation protection and the assessment of uh, absorbed doses in the uh, employees patients and then we have unit of activity which is uh, the mainstay of uh, a nuclear medicine which states that one becquerel is equal to one disintegration or one activity per second we have another uh, unit which is atomic mass unit and atomic mass unit is important because these atomic structures are very small so we can't use just kilogram for them or so what we do is like we drive another unit which is 1 amu which is equal to 1.6605 into 10 to raise to power minus 27 kilograms so it's a very tiny amount of uh, weight which we will be just using uh, in the next slides then we come to the basic forces in the basic forces we have an electromagnetic force it's a force of attraction or repulsion between charged objects so both objects need to be charged in order to experience this force and then we have fundamental forces which have interaction between protons and neutrons obviously the neutrons have don't they do not have any charge over them so that's why it's uh, an interaction between the protons and neutrons so uh, keeping a review of the forces which uh, we have just discussed so we have a strong force which has a strength of a relative strength is in comparison with the gravity which is one so you can see that it's a very big force which is 10 to raise to power 38 but it has a certain range of interaction like when the nucleons are at certain uh, distance with each other then this force is applied and this is 10 to raise to power minus 15 meters and the function is that they keep the nucleons together the protons and the neutrons they are together in this force they are kept together with this force basically and then we have an electromagnetic force and we have just seen that this is between the charged particles and this is about uh, the uh, relatively weaker force than the strong force but obviously still it is 10 to raise to power 36 in comparison with the gravity and the important thing here is that it doesn't have any range of interaction and it affects up to the infinity distance so this is the force between the charged particles like electron and proton which both are charged and they are obviously opposite to each other a negative and positive positive. and then we have weak forces uh, this is not important uh, for this medical imaging and then we have a gravity just to give you an idea 
like how much strong these two strong and electromagnetic forces are in comparison to the gravity which is keeping the nucleus and the atom together. Then we come to another thing which is the electron volt and the electron volt we don't uh, strictly follow the SI units but we drive a sort of thing because to make our working easy as we are going to discuss uh, wherever the energy of the electrons and all those uh, interactions are going to occur. So we just uh, will be focusing more that uh, like we will drive our uh, energy uh, unit which is the um, electron volt and uh, joule is very large so obviously what we do is like we just calculate the charge of electron which is 116 into 10 to power uh, 10 to raise to power minus 19 coulomb and we just convert it uh, into electron volt in terms of kinetic energy we drive it like if there are two uh, potential different areas like there is a potential difference of one volt between a and b and then there is electron uh, which is pushed or it is being attracted from the negative towards the positive and if there is a negative net charge difference of one volt so that electron when it will be reaching the uh, anode or the positive charge area it will be having one electron volt at its kinetic energy so just remember this that electron volt we will be using it very frequently so it stands for that if you have an electron which is uh, pushed from the uh, cathode towards the anode with an electric volt or emf difference of one volt then the energy that electron will be having when it's going to reach in at the anode is going to be one electron volt and this can be in multiple like one kilo electron volt if the voltage difference is like one kilo volts and then so on and so forth then we have energy in two forms one is the energy without mass which is the electromagnetic radiation obviously these are the x-rays which are obviously carrying the uh, energy as a photon and then we have uh, energy of a rest particle which is like uh, which can be derived from e is equal to mc square so if we uh, drive a force uh, we, if we drive an energy of an electron being converted into uh, energy like it's a mass electron is a mass and we convert it into the energy uh, mass is being converted into energy so that is going to be approximately 511 kilo electron volt and this we will be using in PET or positron emission tomography in further details then we have uh, two more things to go and one is electricity and power and electricity in a circuit is equal to the current and the resistance this will be used very uh, rarely in the our further discussion but st just uh, to make sure that you remember these uh, values so v is equal to ir is equal to current into resistance and then we have power power is the voltage into the current and uh, for example if we want to calculate the power of an x-ray tube which is operating at 80 kilovolts and the current flowing uh, through the tube is uh, 500 milliampere so the total uh, power of that uh, tube is going to be 40 kilowatts so it's like 40,000 watts